Just look at this complicated bullshit. 26 fucking lines of code. We're gonna put our idiocy aside for a second today, because today is only about code optimization, puzzle solving and challenge beating. But to be fair, I am 69 years old. Like how the shit am I supposed to optimize anything? Anyway, with this game completed, there's still a lot of optional challenges to be done. Now as you see, these few challenges I messed up in the previous videos, I will for sure get back to them, but now level 51, identify yourselves, biatches. Oh look, this looks good. So we've got some code here already, now let's see what are we actually supposed to be doing. Label the first data cube on the left with one, then two and so on. Workers can't touch each other's data cubes. Be respectful. Be polite. <laughs> that just sounds something that you can read at the men's restroom, you know, at the urinals. Don't touch each other's data cubes. <laughs> oh man. Anyway, the code we've got currently, let's see, okay, it works from left to right. And when the person is done with their data cube, they say hi to the person next to them. They calculate their value, write it down and so on. However, the code is too long. We need seven commands and it's also too slow. Now I've got a bunch of iterations. I mean, what the shit is this? This looks fucking ugly and this looks better. Does this work? Is it, is it the same? Yeah, it seems it's the same. What the shit? What's the difference? Oh, no difference. Great. So let's actually discard this bit of code and let's look at the comments because I already solved this challenge previously. Here we have a duct tape solution. We could say what we do right now, but just remove the tell high part and say if your number is less than 10, then drop. All right, let's see. So the thing is that the listen and tell part takes a long time, okay? So the code I've had at that time seemed to be broken. However, it was similar to this. So if I understand correctly, I originally tried uh, to keep them calculating. Just keep calculating and at some point, you know, go from zero and at some point the people next to you are gonna update their numbers. So you take it from there. But when should you drop? You drop your item when it's lower than 10. So the first person takes this zero plus one, writes it down, it's lower than 10, drop it and fuck off. All right? Then the other people are gonna see the data cube, increment one, write it, lower than 10, drop, and so on. Let's see if this actually works. Zero plus one is one, write it down, drop it. This person, oh shit, hang on. This is supposed to go there. So let's go again. Zero plus one is one, write it, drop it. This person sees the one, one plus one is two, drop it. And so on. So this code is short and it fucking works, but it doesn't. It should be lower or equal to 10, since the last person actually has a 10 in the end. That's it, beautiful, what the fuck, what, what the shit? Oh, right, okay, I see what the problem is. So I actually responded to this person saying that we could for sure do that, but I've gotten used to the numbers on the cubes being random, right? So normally you can see these numbers, they keep changing. And when you start the level, random numbers appear there. However, here, the random numbers are generated during the tests. So what actually happened is, yes, indeed, there's an eight and a one already, so the people will just drop it straight away. So sadly, this solution only works sometimes, which means we haven't, oh, we have actually completed this speed challenge, but that might have been already done, not sure. Let's try a different comment. Oh, uh, look, this looks promising. So we've got a code right here. And again, instead of having to listen and tell, we're gonna just step away. So let's see, have one in memory one, Pick up your data queue. If to the left of you there isn't a worker, you're gonna write what's in memory one. You're gonna step down and drop the data queue. We're gonna have a jump here, so repeat this. So the first person has no worker to the left. They write one, step down and drop. Now this person should see that there's no one beside him. So he's gonna take a look 
calculate sheet and write it down. So let's not actually set it here. Let's do calculate when there's no one next to you. Calculate what's to the bottom left of you plus one. There we go. So this person is going to see this zero. Calculate one. Step down. Then they're here. So this person can see the one there. Okay, this is going to work. Seven commands. And it actually should be even faster as well. Yeah, I haven't killed these people. I mean, you shouldn't. <laughs> And yeah, there we go. So that's seven beautiful commands, works as expected, but still too slow. And the reason might be because my original optimization that is here, that looks completely shit, to what I do here is start from both sides, right? Which makes it actually really fast. So we could make this code fast as well by going in both directions and here say like else if, yeah, I don't know. I mean, let's let's just code it. Otherwise, if there isn't a person on the right side, you're going to calculate in memory one what's bottom right plus, oh, this time actually minus one. And then again, right step drop. So I'm going to put this code here so we don't repeat it. And here we have to break the loop. So go like that. Looks a little better, actually. Now, does this work? Also, in the end, the people are going to be dead. I mean, you know, the program would end. So now going from both sides, why the shit do we have minus one, you bitch sickle? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> oh boy. Let's do another if statement here. So if to the right of you there isn't a worker on the first pass through, you set memory one to, to 10 and then you calculate shit. I don't want that. Yeah, set it to 10 and then jump away there. So this person on the right side is gonna set 10, jump here, right, step down, fuck it, you know? And the other people should follow soon. So that's a 10. One, two, eight, nine, yeah, 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 working beautifully. So, we've got more commands this time, 15, fucking 15, 22 seconds, yeah, works beautifully. What a great suggestion. Now, another suggestion we have here is to combine the small program I already had, where I have the if tell listen block with if and jump. So I believe we've already done that, right? So this is the code, and instead of if tell listen, we do if worker to the right or to the left, you know, keep jumping here. So wait here and we don't have to tell. And here, sadly, again, we could use the listen block, maybe verify which side the message came from using the value of the block, which is always lower or equal to 10. But I don't think that would work since the numbers are now random, right? So the thing is, we would use this, but go from both sides. And the problem was, that this person wouldn't know from which side the hi command came from, left or right. The suggestion is that we can just look at the left cube and if it's like lower than 10 or if this one is lower than 10, that's the direction the instruction came from. However, we now know that it's possible for these data cubes to be actually lower than 10 at the very start. So sadly, we can't use that. Look at that, both challenges completed. Nice. And to be fair, I wanted to include this level as well, but I really fear it's gonna be a freaking headache. Just look at this complicated bullshit. 26 fucking lines of code. Uh, what do they do? Yeah, they should basically count the number of zeros, ones, all the way up to fives. So each of these people knows the value they're counting and they're going through like idiots. It's taking them fucking ages. It was really hard to write. Yeah, look at that, fucking having a seizure here. And then they write the amounts of, you know, numbers they found. So this code works. It's over. It's taken fucking long. So no optional challenge is completed. I have this code as well, which is even fucking longer. Look at that 44 fucking I mean, what the shit is that? But look, it's it's much faster. It's much better, it's much faster. But I believe it's still gonna be way too slow. Anyway, I would love to do this, but it seems like the, you know, understanding the suggestions could be a tiny headache. Oh shit, but look how close this is. 
and I've done this all by myself. I'm not such an idiot after all. I didn't say I wasn't an idiot. I said, no, not such an idiot. All right, see ya.